Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the 3D printing kit. Right here. It will also come with a few other things, such as the glass right here, the tape, and also the filament, which I happen to have here as well. First of all, let's get started by opening up this box. The 3D printing kit. That's the extruder. And that's the stepper motor. I'm going to take this out of the packaging. Put it right there. Take this out of the packaging. And put it right here. Let's get started by installing the print head. It comes with this tube right here. It's pretty convenient because it goes into both sides and the filament goes inside. Let's put it in here first. Like that. And put it in the stepper motor as well. And that goes right here. Like that like that, and they're connected. Here we go. And if you want to take them out, you have to press that black cap down and just pull it out. I just did that. Now let's install the print head. Go ahead and put it in the end effector place. And then you want to wire up the wires. Now there are a few. The biggest one goes into port 4, which is right here. That one. And then port 5 and port 6 are the fan and the analog. Go ahead and put those in. There we go. I've put everything inside. Now we have to wire up the stepper. Go ahead and flip over your U-Box. To the back. Right there. And it's labeled stepper 1. And we want to put it into stepper 1, which it happens to be right there. Now we will flip it over. And we are good to go. Now, we're going to set up the filament. Now, there are two ways that you can install your filament. One is by putting it on the stepper motor, which I do not recommend. The second way is using this kit, which comes with the Dubot Magician, and consists of a few acrylic pieces and a metal rod. Now I'm going to assemble them together. It's quite simple. And if you do have some like sticking on the surfaces, that's normal. You just want to peel it off. It may take a little bit of a long time, but it's worth it because then it fits in better and it looks better too. Now, before putting in a rod, because if you see like just like this, your rod will get stuck in there. You want to put your filament in between. And take out the filament strand. Here it is. Now, if you have like a little bit of a break in there, you may want to break it like this or using a pair of scissors. Although I prefer this more this way, but scissors are definitely much faster. I've broken off that piece. And you want to take out the stepper motor and you want to put the filament right through. And you might be wondering, well, it just doesn't go in. Well, because you have to press down that and make sure the filament goes the right way, not just normally in. And you see, the filament is appearing in the tube. You want to make sure it goes until you cannot push anymore. Keep on going.
may be a little bit hard, but I'm almost there. Down to there. And if you want to make your life easier, when you're almost there, you can pull off the tube on the extruder end, take it out, and then when you're almost through, then you want to just pull out the filament with your hands on the other side of the tube. There we are. We've got a little bit in, and I'm just going to put it in. And maybe pull it out a little bit. That's good. Now, there's actually a special place for the stepper motor. Now you might be wondering, well, that's cool. It goes exactly right there. And now, don't forget, because I unplugged it just for a little bit of ease, you want to plug it back in. That's it. Now, we're going to get started with the next part of our setup, which will be setting up the firmware. We'll see you then. Now, we're going to set it up the firmware. First, you want to connect to your Dubot, and you want to go to settings. Now, if I go to firmware, and you want to install the 3D printer firmware, and click on confirm and wait for it to load. It's going to automatically quit, but you don't have any 3D printing software, so it's not going to launch anything. Therefore, you're going to have to install Cura. Well, go to just search up Cura, and you want to go to this one. Now you're going to scroll all the way down, and it's going to have some other models. You want to look for them. You want to look at view all versions and wait for it to load. Then you want to go down, select this version 14.0.7, but select it for your version, which includes Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Install 14.07 depending on your operating system. Follow the instructions, and you should get something like this. And if it tells you that, you want to say no. Now I'm going to go over the settings. You want to go to File, Machine, and you want to create one, and I called it Do Not Magician. I'll show you the machine settings right now. There we there. Here are the settings. When you, when you create them, this is the settings you want to have. Where'd that go?
So you want to have maximum width is 80, maximum depth is 80, and maximum height is 150. There's one extruder, there's no heated bed, and the machine center is 0, 0. It's a circular build shape. And, it, and the G-code flavor is Riprap Martin slash Sprinter. And then these stay zero. Serial port is the Dubot Magician, which is that. The baud rate is 115200. And you want to press OK. The settings will be saved. Now you want to go to here. The quality is the layer height is 0 0.2. Uh, shell thickness is 0 0.8. And top and bottom thickness is 0 0.6. Fill density is 15%. 5 millimeters per second, which is kind of slow. 200 Celsius. There's no support and no platform adhesion. Diameter is 1.75 millimeters. And the flow is 100%. And this can pretty much stay the same. You don't have to change any of this. And now, if you want, you can load your model. I happen to have one right here. If I go into my... I often like to use this model. And if you can't find one, you can go to Thingiverse. I often like to use a rectangular box, but it's up to you. And then you download. You want to find it. Cura. Da da uh, downloads. You want this. Press OK. It should open. Pretty simple. And it says 36 minutes. It's usually not correct. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe like 0 0.4. That seems good. It doesn't use much material, but that's good, and you can start. And you might be wondering, well, how you print? You press print with USB. Open it up, press connect, and you want to see if it connects. It says connecting. almost done connecting and it says good now if you want to start except for you can't start yet you know why we haven't set the auto Z it's just gonna go down and probably break your bottom now you might I'll set the we'll set the auto Z in the next step let's get started by setting this up if you want to set the zero point you have to use the key on the back now, I will be setting the zero point. Again, it's just like the pen, but you want to make it a little bit more above. Again, just enough space so the extruder can extrude material. And again, it can be anywhere. That seems like a good Z point. Now you want to press the key button right next to the reset button. And you hear that beep. That means the zero point has been set. You can safely move it up. And now we can press start. Go to, again, print with USB, connect. Then you want to wait for it to connect. Now you want to press print and wait for it to start heating. And we are done. That was really cool. I mean, 
this is a kind of small model, but it can print much more things than this. You can put in any model it's going to print, as long as it fits a print bed. And if you're going to print just in the future, I recommend you put the tape that does come with the Dubot Magician. I recommend you put the tape with it on the print bed so it doesn't stick. This way, you can easily take off your prints with ease. It's called non-stick. But if you use glass, it's probably going to stick. Anyway, I think that's all I got for this video, and I'll see you next time.